Okay, awesome, everyone can hear me? Well, welcome to this week's webinar on utilizing the breath of life, everybody. So how are we all feeling today? Daniela feels good and Deb generally good. Oh, that's great. Well, it's great to see everyone feeling good today. It's a good change of pace. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's webinar. So type a Y in the text chat if you know that you've had moments where you have forgotten to breathe. So you've gotten caught up with work or got caught up with friends or family or other shit like that, and you've just forgotten to breathe. Type a Y if you've fallen into that or if you're still falling into that now. Yep, so Danielle and Deb both have, yep. And I know that I can certainly say that I've done that myself. So in a, in a way, in some form, all of us have forgotten to breathe. And this has been, the, this has been one of the major problems in the world today and why people are emotionally out of balance, why people have a lot of internal shit going on and why they keep manifesting dramas and other shit in their life that they don't even fucking want. Simply because people are forgetting the breath of life and forgetting to breathe because it's very easy to do. Like you can easily be just sitting there on your computer and while you're typing, doing whatever you kind of tense up and you, and without meaning to, you forget to breathe. And the trouble is when you forget to breathe, that in turn is like a chain reaction. It makes you tense up and get wound up. And that tension then leads to your body being in pain or shutting down or numbing your emotions. And that in turn leads you to be just existing rather than truly living. Um, you feel empty inside, you feel nothingness, like and there's voids. And then of course the trouble with humanity is people will cope in either one of two ways. If they're not taught how to communicate and express their emotions properly. So either they'll bottle everything inside or they'll lash out. So that's usually one of the two coping mechanisms people will use. And the trouble with those is that they only act as a pressure release. So it kind of releases the pressure off of you and um, it, and it gives you like a breath of fresh air, but ultimately it's not fixing the problem and it's not actually getting to the root of what the issue actually is. Because I mean, when we, when we actually remember to breathe and catch it in the moment and take that deep breath, then that's when everything becomes clear. You'll then start to realize that messages will come to you and you'll receive messages on your path, on your purpose and who you are. And you'll actually, and you'll actually be able to hear what's going on inside instead of being deaf to it. Because our bodies and the higher councils are always trying to, to communicate with us. But when we're otherwise deaf to or ignoring them, then the universe kicks us up the ass, which is a real beauty because the universe is much more brutal than we would be with ourselves. The universe will attract all kinds of bad fucking shit to your life. So type a Y in the text chat if, if you relate to that. Like the, the universe has kicked your ass quite a number of times. So I'll certainly put my hand up for that one. And yep, Daniela has put a hand up. So in some form, I mean, no matter how big or small, we've all been kicked up the ass by the universe at some point, but sometimes it's what's needed because the trouble is most humans, as you probably can see, are not very intelligent. Most the human race by and large are not an intelligent species. And, and so because of that, then it's up to us to unstupefy ourselves first and unfuck ourselves because then once we can actually clear that and un idiot ourselves, we can in turn do that with the population. Because I mean, uh, the problem is if you don't help yourself first, you have no business helping other people. Because again, it comes to the analogy of like the plane. I mean, when you enter a plane and they go through the safety procedures for those who have been on the plane, I mean, you'll know that they put, they'll tell you to put the oxygen mask on yourself first and then, then do it with someone else. 
because if you're if you're not in order then when you're clearing someone when you're doing something with someone you're just spilling your own shit onto them and dumping your toxicity on their fucking wasteland so to speak and daniela said i'm stupefy lol gee <laughs> yeah i'm glad you like that but it is but it's got uh, it is true isn't it because i mean we've seen with animals i mean animals are uh, uh, abundant i mean they never lack for anything they have all their beautiful rivers all their foods they have their families they're tight-knit and really they only hunt and eat when they need to whereas the human race by and large they'll destroy environments they'll destroy animals way of life and they'll destroy each other just to make a quick dollar for an example or just to get the one up over someone else and just because they're feeling something inside them. So, in, so, I mean, in other words, when we forget to breathe, it leads to all kinds of fucking chaos. It can also lead our minds to go astray, our minds to be completely erratic. Even right now, just take a deep breath with me. And notice how that felt. So even type in the text chat how that felt for you taking that deep breath. Because when you take that um, breath of life and activate it inside you, that it relaxes you, it calms you. And it, it actually helps you to see things from all perspectives, not just one kind of closed minded way of life. And it also brings you back into yourself. Now, I'm sure you notice that it brings you into your own energy space. Because the trouble is, when we're not in our own energy space, it not only disconnects us from ourselves, <coughs> but it also disconnects us from the people around us. Because when we're so caught up in other people's energies and their way of life or the planet's way of life, we become very emotionally charged. And when that happens, that's how people create traumas. And that's how people end up being falling into extreme behaviors and just shit that we don't want. Because I mean, ultimately the key is to stay in balance. There really is no perfect way of life or perfect way of being because everyone has their own way of it and different things work for different people as we found out. So it's life is like a movie. I mean, in the movie, we've seen it. There's always like a main character and there's a side character. There's the extras and all kinds of different roles. Now, when, and that's really what, what life is. We all have our own role to play in the movie. And, but then the moment we try to be something else that we're not, if we're an extra trying to play a main character or a main character trying to play an extra, it's not going to fucking go well. I mean, so it's about you just getting on with your purpose, getting on with your life. Because when you get into your purpose, when you take that breath of life and remember to breathe and to heal yourself and other people, that's when things will start to fall into place. And that's when you'll find that you'll have much better health. You'll be much more fulfilled inside. You won't have the voids and the emptiness and the nothingness. There won't be torment going on in the mind you'll be able to unlooseify, unstupefy yourself, like we mentioned before. Because, I mean, in the end, you're acknowledging and you're feeling what's going on, but then at the same time, you're also finding a solution to your problem, rather than bitching and moaning and complaining about it, like most people tend to do. Because the moment we bitch and moan and fall into victimhood, we become weak. It pussifies the fuck out of us. And we don't want, and we don't want to be weak. We want to be strong inside and outside and, and also retaining that soft heart as well. So again, it's the balance of it all. So that's what, and that's really the main emphasis here is to stay in balance, stay in that breath of life. Okay. So now what we will do is we'll do a bit of a clearing here. Okay, so now everyone just now focus on this code here. Focus on it. And inhale it into your chest. So inhale it into your chest where the breath of life is. 
And just imagine it there and close your eyes. And just start taking deep breaths and relaxing your mind. And just really feel how you feel inside when you take these deep breaths and just continue to take those deep breaths and really feel it, really relax yourself. We now call upon the divine protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding me and each person here. And we call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron, and Christ and Mother Mary. So only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, or anything else related now. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that this energy clearing code be used to clear any tightness and tension that's stored on each person here in their chest and help them to release that and let it go. And we also clear any dark and negative energies circling around it and evaporate that with the golden liquid light. And clear any suffocation or other blockages or attachments causing each person here to be blocked with their breathing and, and stopping them from activating the breath of life now. We clear it all from each person here now to Asia in Tadoi. And we also provide a third order escort to escort any discards on the chest to the astral planes justly earned now. <coughs> Contain any that resist and transport them to the astral planes justly earned now. We now activate the breath of life into each person here and open their chest and their throat and their channels to breathe and to catch it in the moment now.
we lift off any heaviness or tiredness as well and or any tightness any more tightness and we now re-energize replenish and bring back the vital force energy into each person here with their breath of life and their way of being now And we now bring each person here back into balance and bring peace and calmness to their mind, body, and spirit. And we now pour in that golden liquid light and send in the love from the higher mother and father. Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Daniela feels strong. That's great, Daniela. That's awesome. Yes, that was part of it too. When you activate that breath of life, when you breathe and really remember to, that's also how you become strong. Because when we forget to breathe, it also makes us weak. Then it pussifies us. So that's another good reason to remember to breathe. And again, it keeps us in ourselves as well. Deb felt good, releasing tension, strengthening. Awesome, Deb. That's great. Yeah, there's certainly a lot of tension that was releasing, I felt, and there was a lot of strengthening too. Marie, um, calming, peaceful, feeling sleepy now. Awesome, Marie. So it sounds like quite a bit was cleared out of you then. So yeah, certainly a good time to rest now, eh? So now everyone just take a glass of water just to integrate that session. Okay, so is there any final questions or comments before we end for today? Deb, thank you, William. Glad to be able to connect in with your healings. Yeah, thanks, Deb. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad to have you be able to connect with it. Marie, is it okay to nap now and not fight it? Yes, 100%. Sometimes after the clearing is intense, it's good to just nap afterwards and allow yourself to integrate it. Because when you fight it, that's when you can actually stop the clearing from being able to do its full potential and its full work. So you can, you can block yourself from that clearing receiving. So yeah, it would be a great idea to rest, rest it off, you know? Great. Thanks, William. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Yep. So no final questions or comments. All right. Well, just before we officially end for today, everyone, just type a Y in the text chat if you'd like to discuss with me further on activating your breath of life. So if that interests you, just type a Y in the text chat. Deb said, yep. Yeah. Okay, excellent, Deb. So what, so what I'll, I'll do is I'll get the team member to email you a link to book in a call with me, and then we can discuss options on moving from there. 
So if that sounds good to you, just type a Y if so. Yep, that sounds great. Awesome. All right, well, thanks again, everyone. Um, another great webinar, another great session. Make sure you really allow that clearing to integrate, especially when it comes to breathing. Just keep drinking a lot of water and resting, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.